So uh, I got a couple things to do today. Mainly, number one, the focus is dirty as hell. You can see it, it's covered in just crap. Number two, we got to reattach uh, the tips onto the focus, which I finally have, uh, oh my God, this break. I finally got some clamps to do that. Uh, so we're gonna be doing that too. And, oh, also real quick, I just wanna point out, look at how dope this is. Uh, so at work, we do a lot of work with uh, Pure Turbos. So they actually sent us some gear to uh, wear and uh, it's pretty sick. We also use the same shirts that they do, which is pretty cool. Uh, the main reason why I wanted to bring you guys along to hang out uh, this weekend was because I have been thinking for a long time, what is better really, I guess for, I guess it's definitely a personal question, but what is better? Rep wheels or like legit expensive wheels? Because I know that that's like a very big argument uh, that you know you can get away with uh, you can get away with rep wheels you can't track rep wheels you can't do this or that or you know one's lighter or the other's better in some way but I guess I'm kind of asking for your guys' opinion on that because uh, very soon I'd like to purchase a set of wheels for my car and I would really love to just slap on a set of like I don't know something crazy but uh, obviously money is a factor uh, number one and number two not a lot of people make wheels for the Focus ST because I have a very special lug pattern and that's 5x108. So it's super hard to find wheels that actually work with my car, regardless of whether they look good or not. So real quick, I'm gonna wash my car and then uh, we're gonna dive into that subject a little bit further. I said she's looking pretty clean now, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna chuck her up on the old lift here because I gotta put on her tips. Finally, I will not be driving around without tips. I've low key always wanted to use my office chair out here. I'm on bags. Wait. Now that the focus is all clean and I'm putting its tips back on. Back to our previous conversation about wheels. I've been looking for wheels for a very long time and like I said, nobody really makes anything that is like what I want in terms of like fitment and like the perfect amount of craziness that I want because I don't like your average, you know, I don't like your average normal looking wheel. I kind of like the crazy stuff. I like lips. I've been searching around for quite a while now and I've got a few that I really like and I'll put them up on the screen for you to see them. But I want to know your guys' opinions because number one, I always value your opinion. And number two, I want to know if any of you guys have had experience with reps or experience with with any sort of uh, tracking your car. I won't be tracking the focus, but I would like to know your experiences so that it will help me. Oh my God, these wheels are backfiring. So it will help me in the future to make my decision. Holy shit, this isn't going well. This chair was a bad idea. There we go. Also, if any of you can help me find these wheels, in 5x108 because I've seen people put them on their STs, but I can't find them on certain websites with a 5x108 pattern. You guys know I like Arizona, if you watched the last video, but I found a Monster T that uh, when I need caffeine, this is like, it's pretty good. So, wheel choice number one was the Atahan DS06s. Now, these are like perfect because I like the lip on them. I like how they come in these three different colors. And they are in five by 108, which is really hard to find. I really like those. 
I'm not really sure what color I would go with because I love the silver, but it's a little on the boring side. I love the black because of the gold uh, screws or the gold bolts that uh, hold in the centerpiece because they're two-piece and I love two-piece wheels. But I really like the bronze ones because the Focus is going to get wrapped and I know exactly what colors. I was, all right, I'm gonna tell you this now. I was gonna go crazy and wrap it like a snow camo, but number one, Nate and I wanna do it ourselves. So I don't think that is gonna happen because the snow camo, you need to match up all the camo and not that I'm not willing to try. It would just be a lot, a lot of work. So I think for our first wrap job, we're gonna just keep it simple and go with a matte or like a matte, I don't know, maybe like a or just some sort of a matte color that I just said that you can't hear because I beeped it out. And it's gonna look really awesome. And it would look really awesome if I had these bronze wheels. The other wheels, that are far out of my price range were the Cosmos Racing um, XT206Rs in Hyper Bronze, which again would look really awesome with the matte that I would go with for this car for a wrap. It's so funny that you guys can't hear it. I'm, I'm really sorry, but you'll see it in the future. Uh, those I can find in a 5x108. Also, they're just, uh, they're definitely on the top end of my price range, and I think I would have to like sell my stock wheels in order to go after those, which I don't know if I really want to do. But again, I definitely want to keep it different with the wheels that I put on this car. Uh, Cause everybody, because there's such a small selection of wheel choices for this car, uh, everybody does mostly the same wheels and I kind of want to go a different route. That would be the second choice. And the third choice would be the ESR SR01 in either the matte bronze or the silver and they're different and they have a lip and they're two piece and they're not that expensive they're 209 dollars a wheel so yeah those are my three choices at the moment but if you guys have any uh suggestions leave them down in the comments because i read the comments all the time as you guys know also i am looking to modify this car further before then i would like to do a set of side skirts and I would also like to do a front splitter. And I think for this car, I'm going to do lowering springs because I don't think I wanna be spending the money on coilovers if I'm not driving this car hard and I just want it to look low. Also, uh, I'm trying to keep the focus to a budget build because next year I'll be starting a different build come like around this time next year. I wish it could be sooner than that, but it uh, doesn't come out until then, so little hint, hint as to what it could be. I know a few of you know what it is, but keep it to yourself. That's a secret. If you guys have any suggestions on lowering springs, whether you've had them before or whether you've purely uh, just heard that they were good or whatever, please leave it in the comments below or uh, message me on Instagram. I also have a car media Instagram that you are free to go follow because I post nothing but car media there. So go check those out, please and thank you. Yay, she has tips on her again. I don't look like a ricer. I've got all my stuff now, uh, shop is all locked up, and uh, I'm gonna head home and pick up the video there. Alright, it is stupid early in the morning, it's like 1.40, and I am just finishing up the video right now. Do you guys remember last week, I said I was gonna install some LED, like, sequential blinkers or whatever for my focus? Well... I explained to you how they sent me the wrong part. They were, they actually sent me a Mark III Focus uh, sequential blinker kit instead of the Focus ST one. So it did not fit my car whatsoever. Uh, I got a full refund for it and I have more on the way. But one thing that's pretty cool is uh, 
You guys know Evan Shanks, right? Well, his sister is actually going to be the new owner of them. I was thinking, who do I know who has a Mark III Focus? And I don't think any of my friends have uh, a Focus, let alone one that these would fit on. And I was like, I'm pretty sure Evan's sister has a really dope wide body uh, Focus, and these would look pretty cool on them. And uh, they will, so I'm sure you guys in the next week or so, or whatever, will see those on her car. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, and Jaren, I'm hoping you will uh, enjoy those because I'm very bummed I'm not able to put them on my car, but they're gonna look super dope on your car. That is what has happened to those. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. And uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Peace out.